welcome to Virtual Tours Creator. My name is Tom and I will walk you through the process of creating a virtual tour. First, go to virtualtourscreator.com.au and log into the portal. Click on the login button to access the VTC portal. If this is your first time, click the sign up free button and follow the instructions. I am already registered so I can log in with my username and password. This is your home section. Here are the tours I created before. Melbourne Graffiti Laneways, Mark Douglas Melbourne. And now I'll show you how to create a new one. But before creating any tours, you probably want to upload your logo into the system so that it shows up on the bottom of every photo in the tour. This is a very important step as the logo will never update the tours you created before. So to save yourself the trouble, make it the first thing you do when registering. Simply click on this icon in the top right hand side corner and choose profile. In here, scroll down to the button, button called choose file and upload your logo. The important thing is that to properly display the logo, it has to be on a square background, preferably 400 by 400 pixels. We have a separate video on that if you need more information. Remember, if you don't click upload, your logo will not be confirmed. You have to see a confirmation message. Now go back home and let's start making tours. Start by giving your tour a name. One Lane Avenue, Sydney, for example, and click on the Create Tour button. This will take you to the Editor page. Here is your tour name and you can edit it by clicking this Pencil button. You can change it if you want to, but remember to approve it when finished. Now your tour has been added to the homepage. Any panoramas or information you add from now on will be automatically saved. You can access the homepage by clicking on Back to Home button. This is where you find your tour. To continue editing, click on the Edit button. Now it's time to add your panoramas. Let's start with choosing the photos that you want to upload. You can either click on this blue cloud to find the folder with your photos or simply drag and drop your photos into this part of the screen. Remember, you can only add 10 photos at one time. Once the photos are visible in the editor, you can drag and drop them to place them in your desired aura. They will be automatically assigned to ground floor, but you can change the floor names for every photo or create a custom floor. You can also change the name of the photo. The bottom logo on and off option allows you to turn on or off the bottom logo with your name that covers the tripod automatically. So don't worry if you see the tripod in your photos before uploading them to our system, as it will get covered afterwards. You can turn it off if you add Arial 360 panoramas to your tour and don't want the logo to be in the way of views. Finally, Click Save Panorama to Tour. You will see it on the bottom left hand side. Sometimes you have to scroll down the screen. Depending on your internet speed, it can take from 15 seconds up to 1 minute per photo to upload. Remember, these are very big files, so they need some time to upload. Also, 
Our software is downsizing them to make the tool run smoothly. You can later add more photos to your tour by clicking Add Next Panorama. Repeating the process of uploading a photo again. You can also reorder your photos in the panel on the left hand side in case something is not right or you added a photo to your tour later and you want it to sit on top or replace the first photo in the tour. Simply drag and drop it. In this example, I have uploaded only three panoramas. However, you can upload up to 20 or 30 photos per tour depending on your subscription. Now that you have uploaded your panoramas, let's go to the next step and add hotspots. Hotspot is a button that allows moving between rooms or locations and join them into a combined virtual tour. To create one, simply right-click on the place where you want to make a connection between two photos. Click on option Create Hotspot to choose the photo you will connect to. We want to connect bedroom with the living room, so choose Living Room from the list. Once you have the hotspot set up, click on it and it will take you to the room connected. Add a returning hotspot on the next panorama. Keep adding hotspots to all your panoramas until your tour is ready. Remember to create hotspots to go back to the room you came from. First, we created hotspot from bedroom to living room and now we just connected living room to bedroom. After adding hotspots, VTC software will automatically recognize the direction you came from between rooms and therefore will make you look directly opposite way to where you came from. So there is no need to set up the viewpoint direction unless you really want to change it. If you make a mistake and put the hotspot in the wrong place, simply hover over it and click remove. Finally, you need to set up a start panorama and start views. Pick one panorama as the start of your tour. Let's say it will be a living room. Right click anywhere on the preview photo and choose set as start panorama. The tour will always open with the start panorama. This panorama will also show as the main photo for the tour. Last step is to set up a start view for the start panorama. This will open the panorama looking in the direction you choose. Choose the direction you want to look at and right click to choose Set Start View option. You can preview your start panorama and start view by clicking Preview button. This is how it looks like. Remember that the preview always opens in a new tab. There is also an option to add unlimited extra information about the property by using the info points. To create one, simply right click on the place where you want to make a note and choose Add Info option. You can also add a floor plan to your tour. Just click here to browse to add it. and approve to save. You can add hotspots on the floor plan. Simply right click where you want to add a hotspot and choose which room will it take you to. Double click on it to check the connection. Now that your tour is ready, you can preview it by clicking on the preview button. It will open in a new window preview different floors and check hotspots. If you require to make changes, go back to the editor page. Here you have three extra options for tour presentation. One, show hotspot description. 
we highly advise to have it turned on as it will help your buyers to understand where they're going. They will simply see the description of a hotspot. 2. Show info points description. We would keep it turned off so that there is not too much info in the tour, but if you want you can turn it on. And 3. Stop auto rotation. This will stop panoramas from spinning around. If you are ready to publish, go to home page by clicking the back to home button. In your home section, you will find all the tours you previously created. Choose the tour you want to publish and simply click on the share button. There are two options. First one allows you to get a link to post to any property portal or Facebook. The second one gives you an HTML code to embed on any website. Thank you very much for watching. Now go and create your amazing virtual tours with VTC, the Virtual Tours Creator.